If you've been following the channel for some time, you'll be aware that a couple of weeks ago I made this tutorial right here, showing you how to set up custom interval workouts for gear tracker on the Samsung Galaxy Watch 3. Now, I swear, just a couple of days after uploading that video, Gear Tracker came out with this massive new update, which introduced the Gear Tracker app, which makes setting up these types of trainings even easier. And as much as I'm like, no, no Mr. Mr. Gear, Gear Tracker, Tracker. That's, that's not, not cool, cool of you, cool. it's actually amazing and it's really cool. So let's have a look at the brand new Gear Tracker app today. And we're going straight to the hands. Don't worry, you'll get to see my face again, you'll just have to wait until the very end of this video. So let's just get started, right, with boom. There it is, gear tracker of course, the layout that we're all familiar with right here. And the way to launch the app is not to go and install an app on your uh, phone itself. No, this all runs on the web, so you just go to the gear tracker app on your watch, scroll all the way to the right, and as you can see, we have the app right here. One thing to point out is that this app is only available for the premium gear tracker subscribers. So if you don't have premium, go and get it, I guess, if you wanna use the app. For the rest, everything you do on the app, you can also do on the watch. Of course, some premium features you can only do when you actually have premium yourself as well. But for the rest, the app is just an easier way to configure different things that you would normally configure on the watch itself. So to go and launch the app, we just tap right there. It's gonna take a couple of seconds to just kind of ping and uh, connect to your phone and stuff like that. And then it's gonna give you the option to launch. So we click launch and it immediately launches on my phone right here. It's gonna quickly read the watch, but that also only takes a couple of seconds. And as you can see, then we should be in right here. As already said, everything is here. Everything you would normally configure on the watch itself is now on your phone and of course because of the fact that you don't have to scroll as much you have a much bigger screen it's much easier to actually configure these things and it makes it uh, just a bit faster overall so i'm very happy that this app is here uh, particularly for defining actual intervals and we'll get back to that because that is of course the main topic of this video but there's one thing i want to really quickly point out and that is the new actions, because it's really interesting. You know how on your watch you can always pull down to get to this menu? In this case, it would allow you to pull up and then get a menu with a number of actions right there. So I have the default right here. I go right into actions. And as you can see here, we have everything we can uh, kind of configure in this menu. So it has to do with uh, whether you want the screen to be turned on or not, alerts on and off, you can play and pause music, go to the next track, previous track, you can finish the activity and you can end the lap. So go on to the next one, which is all really useful. This app is still in beta and this is one of the spots where you can actually see it because normally on the watch, you can also move these around. So if you want, for instance, play and pause at the top, then you just drag it up and you put it at the top and then it will appear uh, as the first option in your menu as well. But in this case, you can't do that on the app. So you will have to go back to the watch. Of course, it's a relatively simple thing to configure. And then you can link these different actions to your different profiles and just have a little more control over what your watch does during your activities. This is a premium feature, the actions menu, but all the different uh, controls that you can get in the actions menu you can also add to layouts and in that case actually you don't have to have premium in order to use these actions uh, directly in your layouts so i hope that's all clear if this is all kind of gibberish to you be sure to check out my overall profile setup video on gear tracker which i did quite a while ago by now but it should still all hold up and also to go and uh, define intervals. I will kind of show you how to do it on the app right here, but I won't go into too much details. So I will also link down below my tutorial on defining intervals 
for gear tracker on the watch itself so if you don't have premium then that's also something to uh, have a quick look at of course but let's dive right into intervals because that is where this gets really exciting so i have custom intervals i go right in and as you can see i already have some stuff uh, defined and stuff like that you can see how much more insightful this is than you actually having to scroll through it on the watch so this is really nice and right here for the interval configuration we have the run sheet and that is something you do not get on the watch you get something similar of course because you can uh, define all these intervals on the watch itself but the run sheet i just love so we tap to edit and here you can see the interval that i have defined this is an interval that i've defined before already so it won't look uh, exactly like this for you necessarily but uh, hopefully you can follow the logic that i have and then uh, we can get to the same point or you can get to where you want to get of course so you can already see it right i have an interval right here that's 200 meters of running one minute rest 300 meters of running two meters rest 400 meters of running and then two minutes rest and as you can see i have it defined so it repeats twice now this is an okay interval but one problem i saw with this interval is that once i'm done with my last 400 meters it will still do a two minute rest interval so it's a bit nitpicky but uh, it's something that i want to quickly change and i can also show you actually yeah how to uh, make changes to these intervals and set them up of course so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna have two different sets they're gonna be very similar except for the fact that that last set won't have these two minutes rest of course so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click right here and as you can see now this is gonna allow me to add sets before or after this set right here so uh, i'm gonna add a new set afterwards and here we have set two of two as you can see so what we can do now is we can open it up and it's gonna look exactly the same as the previous one because it just like kind of cloned it from the previous one but i will quickly show you as well how to define this second set now right so i can just tap right here to change it from running to rest here to change it from a, a distance based interval to a time based interval or to a manual interval so you can just press the button in order to uh, start the next interval kind of like i did with the warming up right here so the yellow bar as you can see is just a manual warming up and there's no uh, pace or something linked to it but i'm gonna keep this at distance and then you can of course tap the distance and you can also define uh, the distance right here so if i want this interval to be 1.2 kilometers of running you can do it right here as well but since it cloned this set so nicely all i really have to do is go and delete this one right here right because i want to have my first set okay uh, right there okay i want to have my first set with that rest at the end and then my second set shouldn't have this rest at the end right here so let's just dive right in we tap right here and then there's a little minus icon right there that we can tap and we remove the interval if we want to add more intervals or something like that at the end right here i just tap right here on the next or on the last interval at the moment add it right there and then we uh, i don't know we can add the rest back i guess so we go time based rest two minutes and it's back right there i don't want it so get out of my face <laughs> like that if you do want the specific cooldown you can also define it right here just tapping it and uh, yeah set it up however you would like it let me minimize this so now we have two sets the first one has rest at the end the second one doesn't that's all i wanted of course a couple of things to make sure one of them is that you actually turn on the set so right here if i would have it like this i wouldn't actually run the sets because both sets are turned off just do it like that and both sets are turned off so now when we go and link it to a profile which is also very important and we go and uh, then start a run we will actually run these two sets for the rest these settings are exactly the same as i showed you in my profile no in my interval setup tutorial so if you want more information about these be sure to actually uh, check out that tutorial in the video description down 
below. So let's go back. So we've just defined our intervals right here, the custom intervals, and then we can go into profiles. I have this auto interval profile, open it up, and then make sure that under intervals, you have the custom intervals connected to it, because then when we actually go and send it to the watch. So this is something to also always remember. It's not automatically constantly going to sync to the watch. Be sure to go right here, hit save by sending it to the watch, and then it should be able to uh, just send it as you can see, and we are ready to go. So now we can go back. There we go. <laughs> then go and select our auto interval profile right here and we can go and start the activity just as we like and just as we just defined on the phone app right here and there it is a quick overview of the new gear tracker app i know i didn't go into too much detail but as i already said if you want to know more about gear tracker be sure to check out the videos in the description i have them all bundled into one big gear tracker playlist you can just watch it all the way through and I'm sure you'll be a gear tracker expert by the end of it. If you still have any questions, be sure to let me know in the comments down below. I will be actively checking them out and answering your questions. If you don't have any questions, this video was very helpful to you, which means that you enjoyed it, which means you should leave a like and also be sure to stick around by subscribing to the channel for more content like this or technology running or ideally a combination of the two. But thank you so much for watching. Thanks for the ongoing support and you will see me again in the next one. No, Mr. Gear Tracker. This is not cool.